Howdy friends, it's the Rev BTB and I'm coming here today with a share on a faux dory that I've made. Um, I've been looking for quick, easy um, craft fair fodder um, to be able to make for a craft fair that I would like to be able to do with my mom for the upcoming season and of course because I'm so busy I have to get going now on my goods. Um, so. I thought that the planner craze is huge. People are buying planners all the time. They're doing faux dories. They're doing mid dories. They're doing, I don't know, everything. There's all kinds of different ones out there. And the Traveler's Notebook seems to be very popular, which is what the Midori um, brand, I guess, is called the Traveler's Notebook. Um, and what's funny is, is I had picked up some of the Dollar Tree uh, weekly and monthly planners to try and start my planning adventure a while back and then of course I you know evolved but I still kept them because I thought I could do something neat with them and maybe make gifts for Christmas for people and then I thought wait I've been looking at all these videos and people are doing this all the time so let me try this uh, I could probably make a bunch of these up and they could be customizable folks could pick a cover they could pick uh, their insert whether it be a monthly or a weekly um, they could pick the design of paper that I have decided to put on the front of them so that they can you know customize it to their own liking I will make up some charms that people can use as another add-on and so basically I'll just show you this is what the bones is okay these are the planners from the Dollar Tree they come in these vinyl covers and what they are are white cardboard on the inside with the craft cardboard on the outside and they have all the pertinent things that you need in a planner already in there I don't have to photocopy anything the work is already done for me and it's for a buck so that will go in one all I have to do really is invest in you know or use my paper so for this one that I've created first I'm gonna I'll take it all apart so that you can see the parts okay um, let's go like that all right now, uh, the way that I've been watching videos, I've seen the faux dories, apparently they come, or the mid dories, this is how they usually come, with some sort of elastic that's strung in here, so it's in here twice, and then a closure of some sort that is that wraps around the, the front of it, okay? Um, I've seen people have neat little charms on the front of theirs, you know, they hang off the side or whatever. I just put the filigree on here because that's what I had at the moment to grab, so that's what I use for this one for right now. But what I did was I measured everything. So I measured my book to see how big it was. And I put my eyelets at the, where the, the spine, the top and the bottom of the spine would meet equal into the middle of that eyelet hole. So then I punched the holes and then I punched another one about a quarter of an inch below it to be able to string my elastic through. And of course you string it so that the tie is on the inside. Um, and for the closure, I had found this a while back and I just thought it was cute. It was on clearance at Walmart and it was like, you know, baby headband elastic type stuff. And I thought that that would be neat maybe for making something to do with a pocket letter or whatever. And so I had just been saving it. And then it hit me that I don't need to use this, you know, cucka elastic when I've got this. So that's what I used for the closure. I thought that it would jazz it up a little bit, give a, you know, break up the the pattern some you know that's kind of a lot of leopard print I guess if you're right into leopard print that's not a bad thing but I kind of wanted to break it up a little bit so that's how I made the base of it was just from a uh, Dollar Tree placemat and five eyelets and a little bit of elastic and I said like this I think cost me a buck fifty for a bunch of it at Walmart and then I of course had those planners so I covered up the planners with some pretty paper just on the outside. I left this blank, left this blank. I'm not sure if I wanna do anything. I might do it if for the ones I'm selling just so that they have more rigidity, but it's kind of thick as it is. I don't think it really needs much more. I might use thinner paper because this is actual like cardstock, not, you know, the thin stuff. This is the double-sided cardstock. So I might actually just use thinner scrapbook paper to be able to do it. So I covered the two notebooks and some papers that came out of the same collection so you know it would coordinate and then I know that 
people when they buy their Midoris, they always have a chance to add add-ons, and add-ons include pockets, and they include zippered cases, and they include pen clips, and they include the little elastics that are used to basically hold the two books together. So when you're putting a book, to, you know, like a Midori together, you sort of sling in one elastic through here, and then another elastic, you know, the same elastic goes in here. And then rather than bulk up all of this, you're only bulking it with this. So then you string this through and you've got your two books inside and they don't really uh, uh, fold over each other. It's kind of like held in by that elastic. And of course that goes around there. So I made this folder to envelop one of the books. So this is actually meant to go around the outside of one of the books and I didn't have any craft um, colored manila envelopes which is typically the this you know the color that you would find inside of a, a true Midori so I took an actual regular manila craft manila envelope and I covered it with just a roll of craft paper from the Dollar Tree you know I took a piece of slice off and and covered it um, I actually in, and did it on the inside too so that when you're sliding papers in you know you don't have to worry about it um yeah so this one i did to coordinate with the other book i just thought that it would be neat to you know coordinate a pocket matching the notebook that i was using on the front and so it would wrap around like that and of course i probably put it in here all backwards but that's all right you get the idea. So yeah, it's backwards and upside down, but that's okay, because it's very easy to fix. But anyhow, so that's my idea on doing a Midori uh, for uh, a craft fair project for for making some, some monies for the holiday season so I can buy my kids some more Xbox games. Well, they don't have an Xbox, they have Playstations, so. Yeah, because that's what they're going to want. My kids don't like the little Dollar Tree crap anymore. They like the expensive stuff. Mom, I want a $300 wah, blah blah. Anyway, so yeah. This is my faux dory. And if you enjoyed looking at my presentation of my faux dory, and if you would like any instructions on how you might be able to make your own, there actually are plenty of them out there. That's how I figured this one out. Um, but I'd be happy to do one for you. Um, it basically, you're going to find different supplies at your Dollar Tree. Go ahead and see what they've got out there. You know, you might come across a, a placemat that you like somewhere else that, you know, might be on clearance somewhere. So, you know, it looks like it's a, you know, it definitely doesn't look, it is very easy to make these on your own. And so if you want to hear more about it, leave a comment. If you'd like me to share the ones that I get done for my craft fair, um, I might actually come back when I'm getting ready to go to the craft fair and show you all of the things that I've made for it. But um, anyway, that's my share for today, and I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.